you got to you got to learn to love Judas too. Can you imagine? I fed you. I helped you when no one wanted to help you. I chose you when nobody would pick you. You sat at my table at Thanksgiving. We ate the last supper together. I gave you my drink. You laid your head on my chest and said, I will be with you always. You shared everything I've done. Retweeted the things that I said. Text your friends and told them how awesome this person is in your life. And when the opportunity presented itself, A man came and said, hey, I know you be around that Jesus guy. He really real? Yeah, he does. Does he feed people? Yes, he does. Has he done miracles? I've seen it with my own eyes. You've really seen him heal people. I've seen it. I've seen demons run. And then a woman comes and puts perfume at his feet. And he's offended because he says, imagine what we could do for the poor. But in reality, he was giving us a clue of his betrayal. Because if you're so used to loving people, you ignore the clues that they're out the door. Y'all ain't talking to me this morning. And so Judas gets an offer for 30 pieces of silver. If you betray him, and can you imagine Jesus thinking about, I'm about to die. You got 24 hours to live. You're about to die. What you going to do? I'm about to die, and I'm in the garden. All my disciples are around me, and they praying with me. He Father, in the name of Jesus, keep our master alive in the name of. Jesus. And I hear Judas praying too. Father, please keep the master alive. All the while knowing, I sold him for thirty pieces of silver. What makes it worse? is you sold Jesus for the price of a slave. If you were going to sell me out, at least sell me out for my value.